First thing you want to do is search here for Parrot OS on Google. Select this very first link here. Now you can select many different OS formats, such as the Security Question and Home Edition. I will use the one that has most features built in, the security version of Parrot OS. Click here at Download and wait for the download to finish. After the download is done, open your VirtualBox application and then go for this new icon here. Choose a name for your computer. Select the file location of which the VirtualBox will be installed and the file location containing the ISO file we just downloaded. VirtualBox already selected Linux and Debian 64 as you can see. If not, click here and select this very one. The next step is setting up the hardware for the virtual machine. The minimum amount is 2GB of RAM or 2048MB as shown here. Since I have plenty, I will use 80GB or 8192MB. Never surpass this green bar here. Same for the processor. I will use the maximum, which is 4 processors. Click here at hard disk and the options here are already just fine. You can select an existing hard disk, change its properties, but we'll leave it as it is. The only thing you need to be careful is the minimum capacity, which is 20GB. I will use the double 40GB to be sure. Now, just click on finish. There are some final adjustments for us to do. Click here at settings. Click here at the display and slide the bar up to the maximum, which is 128 megabytes. If you wish to use your system with more smoothness, activate this 3D acceleration as well. But be careful, make sure you have a computer powerful enough to do so. If you are unsure, do not activate it. Click on OK and then click here at start. Press enter to proceed the installation. This page here will open and for better viewing, you can go here at view at the virtual box and as you can see, it is already guest resize display enabled, so do not click on it. Instead, Ctrl F at the same time to full screen the window here. Now, it is necessary to click on the install parrot. I'm going to maximize the view here in the circle of the middle. Select the language of your system. I will leave it American English. Now go for the region in your local time zone. And at last, you can select the keyboard layout and model you would like to use. Click on Next Edits page here. Do not be afraid. Select the option to erase disk and that's it. You can also create partitions, but for the most parts, this would not be necessary for us. Click on Next and then here at Full Name, you actually need to provide a name. Therefore, I will invent one here and just leave the username as it suggests by the system. Be sure to remember it or note it down. It will be necessary to initialize the system. Same for the password and its confirmation here. I will use 12345789 as password. After you are done, click on Next. This page here you can review once more everything you have done so far and click on Install. Click on Install now and wait for the installation to finish. The time here depends on the hardware and configuration that you took. It should take somewhere between 10 to 40 minutes to complete. To spare some time, instead of selecting Start now, just click in this box right here and after that click on Done. Go here at menu and select this off icon here. This window will pop up and select shut down. I will get out of this full screen mode and after the system has finished shutting down, I'll go here at settings again and click here at storage. I'll click in this file here and click in this disk icon. Select remove disk and then go for OK. Now click at start again, press enter, type the password you noted down earlier, and now I'll go for full screen again. And that's pretty much it. Thanks a lot for watching till the end.